everyone to another episode of Sunday Supper with the Queen. I'm the Queen, Christina Green, your American Beauties Plus Queen Excellence. Today we're going to be doing another crock pot meal and we're making a ginger garlic beef. So what we have to do, I already have a little over a pound, it's probably about 1.35 pounds of stew beef in the crock pot. Uh, and now to this, we're going to add two tablespoons of, I don't know if it's tamari or tamari, but it is a gluten-free soy sauce. So if you don't have this in your refrigerator, you can use regular soy sauce. So two tablespoons, you know me, I don't really measure stuff. Just do it by half, however much I like. Uh, we're also gonna add a tablespoon of sesame oil. Be careful with this, a little bit does go a long way. Enough. We can always add a little bit more later if it's not sesame eaten enough. Um, this called for your powdered ginger and garlic. Now, I do have those items, however, I like the fresh a lot better. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it called for the ground, or like what I have here, the squeezy stuff of the ginger, but powdered garlic. But I like the ground garlic, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this and a little bit of powder. So instead of like a teaspoon, I'm like, well, you all know me, I like a lot of garlic. So that's probably about a tablespoon of that. And then I'll just do about a teaspoon of the powder. And then it called for about a teaspoon of the ground ginger, squeezy ginger, but we really like ginger in my family. So I'm gonna do a little bit more than that, not quite a tablespoon, because so, that can also be overpowering. Uh, then we're also gonna add, it asks for um, syrup. Now, this is a low carb dish if you don't do rice or if you don't use this type of uh, syrup. I you can find sugar-free syrup or a syrup that's uh, by Lancanto, I think is how you pronounce it, you can find it on Amazon. Um, it's a monk fruit sweetener. So, but since I don't have any of that, I'm just gonna, and it's just, you know, like a tablespoon of syrup, I'm just gonna use what I have already in my refrigerator. Well, actually, I don't even know why this was in the refrigerator. It's not supposed to be. You're not supposed to keep it in the refrigerator because I don't know if you can tell, but it's crystallized all the sugar on the bottom of this bottle. Anyway. To it now, we're going to add three quarter cup of beef bouillon. And I didn't have any beef bouillon, but we have the bouillon cubes. So as long as you get that water really hot and stir it, it'll break down that little um, cube. And even if it doesn't, you can pop it, as long as you, you put it in a glass thing container, you can put it in the microwave to get that water really hot, or you can boil water on the stove if you want to do that too. But I always let it cool to room temperature before I add it because I don't want it to start cooking my meat. Um, we're also going to put some red onion. You can use white onion or sweet onion if you want, but I have, I love red onion, so we have the red onion. It called for about a half of a small one, but I love onion. As you know from the last week's episode, we did the onion chicken, so I that, that wasn't quite a full medium-sized red onion. I chopped the rest of it up to put on salad later. Uh, then we're also going to put about a tablespoon of cilantro. That's probably a little bit more than a tablespoon, but I, I love cilantro. My husband doesn't care for it too much, but he's not eating this tonight, so put whatever I want in. All right, now I'm going to give this a nice stir, kind of break up some of that meat from the packaging because you know it all comes really firm and squished together. I kind of break all that up, move everything around in the pot. See, now my cameraman's not here today to give you guys a look. But Show you what it looks like in the pot. Yum. Very excited. So what we're going to do now is put the lid on it. We're going to cook it on high for four hours. Then when that's done, we are going to add to it. Ooh, Not want to work. Um, but when we're done with it, we are going to um, add in our chopped broccoli here, and then we're going to let that cook for around the 45 minutes or so uh, until these are tender. All right, guys, well, I'm going to, oh, you know, I forgot my pepper. It's sitting right here, and I forgot it, but that's okay. And I know you're screaming, Christina, where's the salt? Where's salt bean? I know, but there is salt in that um, soy tamarind sauce that we use, so. You know me, I'm going to add some more in my own dish, but I will not kill everybody else with all the tassodium that I like so much. All right, guys, well, I'm going to put my cooker on four hours on high, and I'll see you back in a little bit. We'll add the broccoli. And then after about 45 minutes, we will have our finished result. So we'll see you soon. Welcome back everyone. So after three hours on high, I took the lid off and added the broccoli in. 
put the lid back on and let it cook for the remaining hour. As soon as my little thing switched warm, I knew dinner was ready. So I made some rice and then I put the dinner on top of it in this cutesy little bowl I have here. Now when I opened this up, the smell immediately hit me. I smelled the sesame oil, I smelled the, um, the minos from the tamarind. It just, I can't even explain it to you. It just smells really good in my house right now. There are nice big pieces of broccoli. I've got nice pieces of onion in here and then the steak, which is just pork tender. A lot of times with stewie, the reason why they call it stewie is because it cooks slow and low over a period of time, so it helps the meat tenderize. Otherwise, if you were just to like fry it in the frying pan and eat it, it would be really chewy and it wouldn't taste good at all. This type of meat needs to cook for a long period of time with steam or pressure. So I'm ready to eat it. It smells amazing. Immediately, I get the ginger, I get the sesame oil, I got the saltiness from the tamarind that we used, or soy sauce, whichever one you want to use. Mm. The meat is great hard. Mm. It's so good. I didn't even put salt on it. I had my salt hidden right here. I don't even need it as delicious the way that it is. All right, guys, well, I'm ready to tear into this and finish this whole thing by myself. So, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Sunday Supper with Queen, and I hope to see you again next Sunday at 6 p.m.